hello friends welcome to coding host youtube channel in this video i will explain a program substrings of a string so we have a string abc so the all substrings of this string will be the six strings a a b a b c b b c and c so we have to print all these substrings of this string so let's write the program so in the program first i will make a empty string a string z after that we have to take three nested for loops for int i equal to 0 and i less than s dot length and i plus plus now in this for loop i will take another for loop for int j equal to i and j less than s dot length and j plus plus after that we will take one more for loop for int k equal to i and k is less than equal to j and k plus plus now in this for loop what i will do is i will add the character which is at index k in this z string so z equal to z plus s dot care at k after that after this for loop we will print this z string and after that we will make this string empty so z equal to double quotes now let's run this program so you can see that in the output we are getting a a b a b c b b c and c these are the all substrings of this string a b c so now let's see how this program is working so you can see that we have a string s equal to a b c so length of this string is 3 then i have taken a empty string a string z so we have empty string z then i have taken a for loop for int i equal to 0 so this for loop is starting from zero index then it will check that i is less than s dot length so length of this s string is 3 so yes it is less than s dot length then it will go inside this next for loop for int j equal to i so this for loop j will also start from same index of i so j is also zero and j is less than s dot length yes then we have for int k equal to i so this k for loop is starting from i and i is 0 and k is less than or equal to j yes so j is also 0 now in this z string we will add the character of string s which is at index k so k is 0 at index 0 we will have character a so a will get add in the z string so now in this z string we have a after that k will increment so k will become 1 now in this for loop it will check here k is less than or equal to j so no k is 1 and j is 0 k is not less than or equal to j so this inside for loop will break and after that it will print z in the output so in the z string we have this character a so in the output we will get a after that it will make this z string empty so to store next string we have to make this string here empty after that j will increment so j will become 1 now in this for loop it will check that j is less than s dot length yes because j is 1 and s dot length is 3 so we will go inside this for loop again so now this next for loop will start again so k will again start from i so i is 0 so k will start from 0 so it will again check that k is less than or equal to j this time j is 1 and k is 0 so yes k is less than j yes then in the z string it will add the character which is at index k and k is 0 so at index 0 we have character a so a will get add in this z string so here we have a after that k will increment so k will become 1 so this time it will check here k is less than or equal to j yes this time j is 1 and k is also 1 so they are equal so now this time we will add the character in the z string which is at index 1 and at index 1 we have b so after a we will add b so this z string will become a b after that k will increment so k will become 2 here it will check that k is less than or equal to j so this time this for loop will break because k is 2 and j is 1 so k is not less than or equal to j after that it will print this z string so in the output this time it will print a b after that this z string will get 
empty after that j will increment so j will become 2 so here it will check that j is less than s dot length yes because j is 2 and s dot length is 3 so this for loop will again execute and we will go inside this for loop now this k for loop will again start from i and i is 0 so you can see that when i is 0 in the z string first it will add a then k will increment so k will become 1 so you can see that still k is less than or equal to j yes because j is 2 so now it will add character which is at index 1 at index 1 we have b so now in the z string we will add b so it will become a b after that k will increment so k will become 2 now it will check that k is less than or equal to j yes j is 2 and k is also 2 so this time it will add the character which is at index 2 and at index 2 we have c so now this z string will become a b c after that k will increment so k will become 3 and this time this k for loop will break and then it will print this z string so in the output we will get a b c and after that z will become empty again and now you can see that j will increment so j will become 3 here so that time this condition will become false because j is not less than s dot length so this j for loop will break after that i will increment so now i will become 1 it will check that i is less than s dot length yes i is 1 and s dot length is 3 then this inside for loop j will start from i and this time i is 1 so j will start from 1 and after that this inside for loop k will start from i i is 1 so this time this k is starting from 1 so you can see that when k is 1 then it will take the character which is at index 1 so at index 1 we will have character b we will add b in the z string and after that k will increment so k will become 2 but now you can see that k is less than or equal to j no because j is 1 and k has become 2 so this for loop will break then it will print this z string so in the output we will get b and after that it will make this string z empty and after that j will increment so j will become 2 after that it will again check here j is less than s dot length yes because j is 2 and s dot length is 3 then it will go inside this for loop so k will start from i and i is 1 at index 1 we will have character b so we will get b in the z string after that k plus plus so k will become 2 so now you can see that when k will become 2 it will check here k is less than or equal to j yes because j is also 2 so now it will also take the character which is at index 2 and at index 2 we have c so now this z string will become bc after that k will increment so k will become 3 so k for loop will break because now k is not less than or equal to j and after that we will print this z string so in the output we will get bc and after that we will make this z string empty again now you can see that j will increment so j will become 3 but you can see that when j will become 3 this for loop will also break because now j is not less than s dot length so then i will increment so i will become 2 condition is right again because i is still less than s dot length then this j for loop will again start from i i is 2 so j will start from 2 after that we will go inside this for loop now this k will start from i so you can see that i is also 2 and j is also 2 so it's mean that this time it will only take one character which is at index 2 and at index 2 we have c only so this time in the z string we will get only c and after that this k for loop will break because after 2 it will become 3 again and 3 is not less than or equal to j because j is 2 after this for loop will break then it will print this z string so we will get c in the output and then this z string will get empty again after that j will increment so j will become 3 then this for loop will break because now j is not less than s dot length and then i will also increment so now i will become 3 so here you can see that now i is not less than s dot length so this uh, for loop will also break so in the last all this for loop will stop here and you can see in the output we already have all these 
substring so you can see that time complexity of this program will be big of n cube because here we are using three nested for loops and the space complexity of this program will be big of one because here we are only using one string variable thanks for watching